spectroscopy. All right, so before we actually start explaining the experiment, we thought we'd define a few things. So our experiment revolved around alpha particles, and an alpha particle is essentially a helium nucleus. It's two protons and two neutrons that gather up enough energy to overcome this barrier. It's, tun it's tunneling through a barrier, and in this case, it's the nucleus's binding energy. And for the experiment, we also had to familiarize ourselves with the game theory, which states that short-lived isotopes are going to emit more of these alpha particles. And this will play an important role in understanding our equipment later. The purpose of, of our experiment was to establish the thickness of certain oils. Uh, we were using uh, aluminum foil, and uh, a way to do this would be to, to use uh, alpha particles. Uh, because um, the thickness might affect alpha particles that we sent at the foil. We thought that the thicker the foil is, the lower the energy would be of the particles that go through the foil as they would slow down from passing through. OK, so this is some of the equipment that we use to like measure. And I'll explain a little more of the procedures. But basically, what happened is we took this radioactive source and we put it in there, and this source was like emitting alpha particles, and then above that, yeah, where he's pointing now, um, we put like the sheets of foil of different thicknesses, and we used like a pump to pump all the air out of that little chamber because alpha particles are stopped really easily, so if there's air in the chamber, then that would interfere with their motion. Um, so we like created basically a vacuum um, within that chamber and covered it to prevent photons from getting in so that um, the sensor which is up there would only be reading like the alpha particles coming in um, and yeah we used those as the foil samples and then we basically just measured how many alpha particles hit that sensor up there and how much energy they had when they hit the sensor. Um, yeah so like I said our procedures were to calibrate everything to make sure that our measurements would be accurate and initially we put in foils that we knew the thickness of and we measured how much energy they had when they came through and how many of them came through so that we had something to like base everything else off of and then we took the foils that we didn't know the thickness of and we ran the same procedure and we compared how much energy those foils had compared to the foils that we knew the thicknesses of and used that to figure out how thick our unknowns were. So for collecting our data, we used a program called Genie. And essentially what it does is it will show you spikes where the energies of alpha particles that are being detected by the silicon detector are showing up. And so we used a source with the alpha particles to calibrate our sensor. Um, so by getting readings from that, we knew what the readings should be. And that way we could set the, um, the software so that in the future we'd be getting accurate readings for all of our um, aluminum foils, and we use this for almost all the experiments. It's, it proved to be very helpful for um, all of our hypotheses and um, data analysis. Um, we made a table. Um, this sort of showed all of our um, materials that we used, the foils. We started out with the source, calibrated it, and then we used three aluminum foils. Um, these all had different thicknesses ranging from 1.2 microns to 12.5 microns, and we measured how much energy from the alpha particles was getting through to our sensor. From this, we were um, able to make a graph with these three points, showing essentially the relationship between the amount of energy that gets through and the thickness of the foil. Then with the two unknown aluminum foils we used, as well as a gold and a copper foil, we were able to sort of put this on, them on this graph and be able to get a rough estimate of how thick these foils might actually be. Um, for the gold, the aluminum, both, and both the aluminum unknowns, we ended up getting energy through, so we were able to put them on this graph. The copper one, we determined was probably too thick because none of the alpha particles were making it through. So mm, with the, as you can see here, the equation here we have for the line from the last slide. And it's a simple uh, linear equation. Uh, the slope of the line here 
is negative, which shows that uh, with x being the uh, the energy and y being the thickness. So as the thickness goes up, the um, uh, the energy goes down. Uh, we use this uh, equation and, uh, to <coughs> figure out the thicknesses of these foils, and also to confirm our hypothesis, which I explained earlier, that the thickness of the foil decreases the energy of the alpha particles. Thank you.